Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Radian. We recently attended the Association of the United States Army's Global Force Symposium in Huntsville, Alabama, where our coverage was sponsored by Leonardo DRS. While we were down there, we spoke with Jim Miller, Business Development Director for Combat Vehicles at BAE Systems. We asked him for updates on the company's mobile protected firepower and armored multi-purpose vehicle programs and about the work the company is doing on a potential engineering variant of the AMP-V. On the MPF, mobile protected firepower, we've got uh, our proposals in already and we have to deliver our bid sample uh, by early next week on Monday. And we're going through some final contract tests the vehicle's already there where it needs to be and we're going to deliver on time. Generally speaking about AMV in, in uh, program overall, so we had a requirement to turn in 29 prototype vehicles uh, this year. We've got all 29 delivered now. Those vehicles are going through test with the Army and that test kind of goes through the summer. And at the end of the summer we're pretty excited about finishing that test and moving to the next phase of production at sometime early next year probably. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So 29 in, in the middle of test with the Army, looking forward to something new next year. We're showing a pretty reliable vehicle and there's good growth there in the areas that the Army wants us to be growing in. And so we're right on track. I think the design is holding up very well and everybody's excited about the new, the new capability they get with the vehicle, right? There's uh, increased survivability, there's increased mobility we never had with a 113. And so everybody's pretty excited about the way it's going so far. I think it's premature to call it a six variant, first of all. Uh, but uh, this, the vehicle behind me is an internal investment that BAE has done to look at the possibility of an engineering version of the MV vehicle. And so I, I think uh, you're probably familiar with the engineer's mission. They're the guys that get out in front of the, of the combat troops. They clear lanes through minefields. They breach obstacles. And so they really need a, a reliable vehicle can then do that for them. And talking to the Army, they were interested in maybe it's a capability they want on AMP-V. And we decided to do a little bit of investment, develop something that had the kind of the engineer suite of tools available to it, and met the engineer's ideas about squad size and crew size. And we brought the show, uh, this is the second show we've really had it at, to get some feedback. And it, are we on target with the Army's modernization ideas? Does this fit? Uh, I don't want to suggest to be a six variant, but are you interested enough that we should keep going forward with this thing? And that's what we're here for with this vehicle, is to talk about that possibility and to get the vehicle right and into soldiers' hands so they can give us feedback. Uh, this year it's been really, uh, really positive feedback. Again, we had some previous feedback and we made some changes and we're kind of checking that and talking to folks about whether we have it right and we're on the right path. Real positive feedback. Everybody that's, that's been on it is, has pointed to the things they'd like. We've had some feedback on things they'd like us to improve too. And so it's been a really positive experience about getting that feedback. It fits with the modernization uh, examples that have been given here at the, at the symposium, the idea of getting soldiers involved in the process. And this, this show has helped us do that. The leaders and their topics here have been really encouraging. And I think the one that hits, hits home the, the closest for me is this notion of let's get better, let's move faster, let's get vehicles out like we're doing here into soldiers' hands, get the feedback from them and get it right. And that message I think is exactly where the Army wants to be. It fits with the, what we want to be. We want to be the guys that help them do that and really build what they're looking for, right? And the best way to do it is exactly what we talk about. Let's move fast, let's get something in soldiers' hands, let's get the feedback, let's get it right and get it out to the field. And that, that fits perfectly for what we want to do. So it's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting to hear that. I think if you're not really, really excited about this year, uh, you know, I, I question what's going on. Because what you heard here today is a real push to move fast. And things in combat vehicles that we do inside of BA Systems, really excited about NGCV, the robotics program. You know, a year ago we had a robot, a robotic combat vehicle parked behind me. And so we're pretty excited about getting that a chance out there with everything that's going on with the Army. So it's the robotics, it's the next gen combat vehicle, it's the extended range cannon artillery the CFT is talking about. It's just really exciting and there's lots of opportunity there and a good chance to give the Army what they need and help them figure out what that is. I think the omnibus and the decisions that were just made around the budget are really exciting and they're really, they're really going to be good for us and the Army. What you see is the modernization programs that we have ongoing now are going to grow just a little bit. They're going to continue to move forward. And it's given us an opportunity to, you know, build up our workforce a little bit and, uh, and get really moving. Some of, the, some of these problems really moving forward, pro the program-wise the Army. And so I think it's pretty exciting for us right now. Uh, we're pretty excited about some of the opportunity it gives us. 
and I'm really, really excited about the Army's opportunity to start these new programs and, and get things moving forward like they want to. The Army's interested in making some progress in the, in the time they have and what they see their budget future. We're trying to understand that and work with them. And there's a sense of, uh, you know, we've got to get the speed to support what the Army wants. And I think that speed will build some momentum. And I think that's important to the Army to get that momentum going. So we're kind of taking our lead from the Army on that. And where do they want to go? We want to make sure we're delivering what they need, not what we might want. And so uh, it's important for us to be tied completely together with them and make sure that what they're after, we're helping them get. We're excited about the things we have here in the booth and the feedback we're getting from the Army has been really positive. And even when it's not so positive, it's really important to get it. And so I think that's the key thing that we get in a show like this that people forget. It's that engagement back and forth that's so important to getting things right for our soldiers. And sometimes we just forget about that. So the real value of a show like this is the talking that goes on between the, the Army and the provider. And getting the things right is really what we got to be able to do. And this show works great for that. And it's kind of the hidden secret of the show.